Hey guys, welcome back to the Deep Freeze. So I've decided to make uh, vlog style rehab videos and it's not that I'm going in a different direction with my videos. I'll still be posting the ones of me doing funny workouts and things like that. But I've just decided that I want to start keeping like a, a log of how I'm uh, treating my injuries and the mindset in, you know, how I'm going to treat them and just things like that. So basically, um, the first one I'm going to be looking at is the hamstring problems I've had for a while. I'm just foam rolling my quads here because I trained the legs the other day and they're a little bit sore. And it's just it's a good idea to foam roll those hams. So yeah, you can see here um, this right leg, this is the sore hamstring. And you can see that I can only like barely touch my toe here. So that's the one we're trying to work on. And the idea with um, this lot of rehab that I'm doing is I'm going to be trying to lengthen and strengthen the muscles involved and hopefully to fix some imbalances. So the idea is I'm going to lengthen the hamstrings by stretching them. And then basically once they're nice and long and loose, uh, I'm going to be strengthening them through just some basic rehab exercises. So that should be interesting. Uh, what I found funny though is if you look at me stretching, apart from me being pretty bad at it, it looks like my leg isn't fully straight when actually I've got my knee like locked out and there's just a big gap under my knee. So watching this back, it looked kind of funny because I was like, do I even know how to straighten my leg? So yeah, that was that. Um, so now moving on to another muscle, ah, uh, not a muscle, stretch, another hamstring stretch. I really like this one because it doesn't put as much sort of tension on my hamstring as the, you know, the one I did before. This one's just a nice hamstring stretch where I can like rock forwards and backwards. And rather than being like a, st a static stretch like the one I did before, I feel like it's more of a dynamic stretch. And yeah, I really like this one. I really rate this stretch actually. So you'll see me doing it on the other side. Just realized it kind of looks like I'm doing some yoga poses, you know, you got the sunlight in the background and silhouetted. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty funny. I've never seen myself do this stretch before either. It does look a bit, a bit humorous, if you ask me. So moving into the next lot of stretching. This stretch is aiming at um, stretching, well, I guess with like the external rotators of the hip. I would say, you know, I'm aiming to stretch the glute, med, and min, but you can't really just isolate them by themselves. And it's going to do a little bit of piriformis as well, and, you know, I can't argue with that. That's still a good outcome. Yeah, I like this one. It's pretty easy to do, and, you know, good bang for buck. And the reason that I'm stretching this muscle, um because to help take a little bit of tension off the hamstrings, we want to stretch the muscles above and below. So muscles above the hamstrings or the glutes. And yeah, it'll just help mm, stretching them. So next we're going to be stretching the hip flexors. And I, I wouldn't go as far to say that they're the opposite of the hamstrings, because I guess that's the quads. But in terms of... um hamstring problems and like anterior and posterior pelvic tilt issues um, the hamstrings and the hip flexors really um, you know go back and forth competing with each other so if you have tight hip flexors uh, it generally means you have tight hamstrings as well so we want to try and sort that one out of you know right off the bat and this is a pretty good stretch to to sort that out so yeah this hamstring uh, not hamstring, this hip flexor, this right one. Um, probably can't tell from this angle because I'm not that good at filming. But this one was a lot tighter than the left. So that's probably another reason why I always feel like my right hamstring's tighter even though um, I stretch it all the time. Because, you know, I've got that right hip flexor coming in and being annoying. Alright, so moving on to the first exercise now that we've lengthened all the important muscles. Um, another reason why people have hamstring problems a lot, apart from the fact that they have uh, weak hip flexors and tight uh, erectors and things like that, 
is I have a weak core and I probably have that issue because I really hate training core. So we're going to start doing more core exercises to strengthen the core up and that will also help to stop the hip flexors from getting really tight and overworking because if you have a weak core then your hip flexors like to compensate for that. Speaking of hip flexors, um, if we don't want them to get tight and compensate for a weak core, the best thing we can do for them is actually to strengthen them. And this one right here, this is an excellent uh, entry level exercise for the hip flexors or cellus major, or whatever you want to call it. And they're just good because it helps to balance out the, um, the underactivity of the hip flexors and the overactivity of the hamstrings. So you'll probably notice as well, if you start doing these, that they'll actually help you get in a better position for squatting too. So they're, you know, you get a good bang for buck from this exercise. And I like them because they're just, they're just easy to do and I don't actually have to try really hard when I'm thinking about them. Just need to make sure my knee's going up straight and not out to the side because we want to have good form while we're doing them. So lastly, moving to the actual hamstring exercise. Now that we've addressed the um, lengthening all the shortened muscles and then showing how we would strengthen up some of the other areas to help our hamstrings work efficiently, now that we've done all, all of those, we can actually use our hamstrings. Now this exercise obviously uses more than just your hamstrings. It does the whole posterior chain with your spinal erectors, your glutes, your hamstrings and your calves. But it's a good one in the way that you can sort of focus it more on your hamstrings and your glutes. So when I do this, I like to focus really hard on my hamstrings and trying to take my back out of it. And yeah, and just you know, squeeze your butt at the top, making sure you lock it out. It really just makes me feel more confident in my hamstrings when I'm doing these because you get that nice stretch, which um, irritates my hamstrings sometimes. So. Having confidence in that stretch position and also improving the strength through it is really just a big confidence boost.